Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 22 part video series showing you how to create a M house. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So click on new and then click on architecture template and then press OK. First, we click on the save and then save it to the location that you want to. So I name it KRKK House. And then before I click save, I'm going to click on the option. So I'm going to change this to maximum backup of five. If you want one, you could just put in one. Um, if you're a beginner, around 10 to 20 is good enough so that you could go back to, um, to the save files if you make a mistake. So for me, I'm just going to put it five because that's safe for me. And then press OK and then save. So once you're saved, now the units that we're going to use, so I'm going to type in UN and then we're going to use millimeters for this. So we're going to add in grid lines. So it's under architecture and then here is the grid line. So you can either type in GR or click on this button. So I'm going to type in GR to make it faster. You don't need to look for it right here or click here. So if you want to be fast, it's better to remember the keynotes or the hotkeys. So here I'm going to click on the bottom going at the top. This is the elevation markers. So, for example, if you click on this, it will go to the elevation that you want. So, this is north, south, east, and west. So, for me, what I want to do is I want to click it inside the elevation markers. The reason for that is, so when I click on one of the elevation right here, or if I click this one, I will be able to visualize the model because I received some of the comments that once they click on the elevation right here, they're not seeing their model. It's probably the reason for that is this marker is, for example, right here, or it's too far or something like that. So you can move this. So if you have a bigger um, layout, you can easily move this in or out, depending on how big your layout is or floor plan. So now I'm going to click at the bottom, going at the top. I want to make sure that it's 90 degrees and it's not putting in a different angle. If you want to zoom in, it will start with a number, so number one. You can either press escape and then escape again. Um, you can keep on adding, but it's easier to have a proper sizing or distancing. So what I usually do is I press escape multiple times and then select this one again. You can select that and then type in CO that is copy it's under modify command so here you can click on copy once you select that and then you can grab it again and now you can move it on the right side and then you can type so 6000 from 1 to 2 it will sequence it properly so one two and then sequence it properly up to three or wherever you want so now i'm gonna click copy again this is still live 
but uh, as you notice multiple is unchecked that's why it didn't um, give me the option of adding more so now if I click here and grab it here if I put in the dimension again 4440 and then enter now I don't need to click on copy again because I can keep on adding from it but right now I'm gonna press escape because I'm only adding one two and three grid lines so press escape and then escape again so once you have the grid lines the vertical grid lines now we're gonna add in horizontal so here for horizontal instead of numbers I want letters so I'm gonna click grid line or type in GR so once you type GR now I'm gonna zoom out and then I'm going to click it from the right side to the left side but now it's starting to create the sequence from the last time that we do this will be four so now we're gonna correct that press escape and then escape again you're gonna zoom in click on the grid bubble which is right here select that click that and then now we're gonna add in capital A and then click on the space zoom out then once we create more grid line horizontal grid lines it will sequence it properly again so now this is still selected or if you not want I'm gonna press escape I'm just gonna select that and then this will be changed to this you'll be able to select the copy right here or you could type in CO multiple is already checked because we check it already when we're adding the number three grid line so it will uh, register the last thing that you did so now I'm gonna grab that and then I'm gonna pull it down I want to make sure that my angle is 90 degrees to make sure that everything is aligned properly now I'm going to type in 3480 as you can see it created B grid line I'm going to type in 3716 that's for C and then 2080 1300 and then here we're going to add two more which will be 1134 and then 4066 press escape and then escape again so now if you notice our grid bubbles are only at the top and on the left side for if you want to add grid lines on each end what you have to do is you can just select and then check this so you will need to do that on all of them in order for you to see each bubble on each end and then for for some reason if you don't want it on the left side you can uncheck it as well so here I'm gonna check this one and there we go and then now if you notice I'm just gonna press escape again the grid or the elevation tags are not in the middle so what I, I could do is you can even move this so it's easy to move if you notice I'm gonna undo that 
but instead I'm gonna select all the grid lines and then just move it in the middle like that so that everything is covered but here what I want to do is I want to pull this out and pull this upwards so if you notice you just need to press escape again you just need to select one grid line and if you see there is a dash line right there indicating that everything is unleveled and if you move one of them it will move all so now i'm gonna clean the, this up i'm gonna select one sorry just select one I want to make sure that everything will follow as well so this one it needs to be locked right there so it didn't follow so now I just need to make sure that everything is aligned like that so here everything is aligned so I'm gonna pull it up and everything will move like I want it to and then from here what we're gonna do is we're going to add dimensions so what we usually do is we add dimension on each grid line like so and then an overall here we're gonna add dimensions again and then an overall and then if you notice e and f is overlapping so to fix this you will need to add an elbow in order to add elbow i'm going to press escape multiple times select the f and then here there's a zigzag a very small zigzag and then it will once you ho hover on that it will say add elbow which will you click and then now once you click it it will create an elbow and then now you can manipulate that so to give that space and then here i'm going to add it again and then we're going to flip it on the other side just to have some separation press escape multiple times and we're ready to add walls um, let's go to our south elevation first then from our south elevation we're gonna add in our levels so from level one to level two i'm going to change this so here level one is at zero i'm going to change this to ground so i want to make sure that everything is capital so ground press yes because it's just saying that once you change that it will change here as well that's fine now from ground I want to change this to level 1 but I want to change this to 600 and then here we could select level 1 we rename it to level 1 we have the same problem here select it and then look for the zigzag to add an elbow now you can manipulate the elbow like so now i want to add a level so from level one to level two you can go to architecture and then select level or ll so let's add a level so here the only problem here is you will need to estimate 
the height that you want. So sometimes it's time consuming like that. What you can also do is select level one, select copy right here, and then grab it and then pull it up. You want 3000 for the height. Press enter. So now we have level two, level one. Now we could add in another level which will be the roof. But we're just going to call it level 3. So here we're going to copy again, grab it, and then another 3000 for the height. So now, if you notice, we will need to pull this up. So one, one of the reasons that we need to pull it out is, for example, if we go to level one, in level one, we have the grid lines. It's showing all the grid lines right here. But now, and then if you notice, we're here in uh, south elevation. Level two and level T is not appearing on our floor plan. What you need to do is, you need to go to view, go to plan views, floor plan, and then you will just need to highlight level 2 and level 3. So you could uh, hold on shift, select level 2, and then if you have more than enough, you can select the last one by holding on shift and then selecting the bottom. For now, we just have two. So I'm going to do that and then press OK. Now, level 2 and level 3 appears here. But if you notice, in level 2, we don't have the vertical grid lines. And then in level 3, we don't have anything at all. That's because we haven't pulled this up yet. So now, once we pull this up, grab it right there and pull it up like so that's good enough if we notice level two we have still grid lines right here and then level three we have this one so that's the reason that sometimes when you go to levels it's not appearing yet so now let's go back and check all our um, elevation Make sure everything is appearing or stretched. So here, this is not stretched. That's why it's not appearing on our level 3. So here, once we stretch this up, let's go back to level 3 and it will appear. So here, we just need to keep on checking on all our elevation. Everything is stretched enough that it will intersect and then we're good again. We just need to go to ground uh, and then from ground, we can manipulate everything again. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel, feel free to comment down below.